Hey, welcome back to the channel. Another morning out in the woods. Uh, uh, this, if you watched my last video, this is, that was Saturday, this is Sunday. I'm gonna try to get this last wall done today. Um, I'm by myself. Uh, the missus has other obligations today. So we're gonna try to knock this out by myself. Uh, gonna be a little bit tricky today. We've been laying down our walls to build them on the, the platform and uh, now we're out of space so uh, I'm not gonna have a lot of room to actually swing my hammer at least on that end where the other wall is so uh, might work on some creative stuff might actually build the wall towards where I'm sitting um, first and then uh, slide it back towards that wall and then put my um, my other end, one of my, I guess that would be my bottom plate, put my bottom plate on then. It's not ideal. Uh, it's not the best way to do it, but um, kind of running out of kind of running out of space and there is no other flat spot in these woods to, to put a to build this wall. And I certainly can't build it in there and carry a 12 foot wall back through the woods. It's hard enough carrying two by four, so yeah, that thing wouldn't fit. So um, let's get started. I want to. This probably isn't going to be a long video. I'm probably just going to build this wall, and and then uh, that'll be it for the day. That's all the time I'll have. So let's get after it. All right, I have my wall roughly laid out, not nailed. And that is what I was talking about. Every single stud lines up with the stud on the opposite wall because it's exactly the same. And so I am not gonna have any room to swing my hammer and put those nails in. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this top plate, just take it out. I'm gonna slide this whole wall down enough room so that I have room to swing my hammer up there. But be, if I do that, Every single time I hit the hammer, the wall is going to go droop, 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 even if I have my foot on it. So what I'm going to do is this bottom sill for the window, all of these studs, I'm actually going to screw into them instead of nailing. And what that'll do is as I slide this whole wall down, I'm going to put just a little piece of two by four in between each cavity, screw it down, and then that sill right there will go against those and so when I nail on this thing, it actually won't go anywhere. I don't know if that'll work, but I'm gonna give it a whirl and I don't have any, I don't have many other options here except putting this whole wall up without a top on and nailing from the top, which is a stupid idea. So, let's see if it works. Well, it didn't work <laughs> the way that I thought it would, but it still worked. Um, I realized that just putting screws here uh, was only going to stop the wall from moving in the middle. It wouldn't have any effect on either one of the ends and my everything would have been bouncing around as I tried to uh, nail it. So what I did instead is I took what was left of the screws and I actually, um, all along the top, I actually screwed in uh, with some long screws and then added a nail after that uh, into my top plate, into the top of my wall that eliminated the pound, 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 move, move, move that was gonna happen when, by nailing and instead um, kept that nice and tight and I went ahead and added some framing nails to make it tighter. So um, it worked. Um, I still need to uh, put my bottom plate on, but um, yeah, trial and error. All right, we are, well, not we, I am ready to raise this wall. Uh, the missus is still gone, so we're gonna get this thing done ourselves. Uh, I wanna show you three tips real quick. I'm not sure they're pro tips. I'm not sure they're Tom Silva approved, uh, but they're what I'm gonna do. The first one is, is this cross member right here. Um, those cross members, you can see one on each corner. Those not only help the building from falling over, they also keep it level. Um, this is a, we've been pretty much level and square through this whole job and 
Why stop now, right? But I unhooked the bottom screw over here because just in case this wall, because we are coming directly, raising up this way, and it's directly inside my two outside walls here, just in case it's a little tight, uh, this wall over here can flex a little since I have that undone. That's the first one. The second tip is I put little blocks right there underneath so that that can be picked up. And then the third one is over here. When I go to raise this, since I'm by myself, I'm not gonna be able to jump down and just uh, nail this right away. So I'm gonna actually screw into this brace to the outside of that stud. So those are my tips. Uh, we'll see if they work. Let's raise the last wall. Number four. Well, hello, sir. You look good standing in the doorway of your brand new cabin. What, this old thing? Oh, thank you. That's my best Southern Belle impression. Not sure it's actually any good. Um, but yeah, we're done. All four walls are up. I say done, and we still have a lot more work to do, but done for today. Uh, that's all the time I have today, so it's going to be a short little video, a uh, little bonus video for you. That's right, you. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't judge me too much for my bad construction. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'm just super happy. This is awesome. Uh, when people say, does it look like a cabin yet? I've always had to say no. Now I can say yes. Uh, so pretty awesome, pretty jazzed. And uh, we will see you on the next video. Catch you on the flip side.